Well. Nurses, would you tell us what happened at the invasion near Rome? Uh, Miss Britt, will you tell it this time? You tell it, Miss Hanman. <laughs> uh, we were on a British hospital ship, the St. David. September the 20, uh, January the 24th. Uh, Nurses, would you tell us what happened at the invasion near Rome? Miss Brett, will you tell a story this time? No, you tell it, Miss Hanman. Our surgical team, one team was on a British hospital ship, the St. David, uh, off the coast of Italy, where the new beachhead had just been formed, near Rome. We had patients we had, who had come aboard the day before, and uh, we were starting out for the night. The water was rough, our ship was fully lighted, and we set sail to sea. What? I think we were approximately 15 miles out to sea when we had been in our bunks, being the first time we had been seasick, so we uh, had fallen off to sleep when we were awakened by a terrific crash. Jumping up from our bunks, we immediately got our life belts and ran upstairs. We got up to the next deck, saw patients being evacuated, most of them being ambulatory, and thought we'd go up to the top deck to see what was going on up there. Miss, I ran first, Miss Brett followed, we got up there just in time to get into a lifeboat. The minute we got in, to the lifeboat, we noticed the boat sort of going down, although no one was lowering it. And that time we looked up, we saw the ship turn over towards us. Four minutes had elapsed between the time we were downstairs and we were in the lifeboat. Right. We were simply stunned to think that the ship had been turning over. So about that time we were separated. Miss Brett, which direction did you go in? What did you do then? Well, when I looked up and saw the ship coming over, someone yelled to me to jump. So I was on the side of the of the lifeboat away from the ship, and it was easy for me to jump in the water. And I yelled to you to jump, but I never did see you. What happened to you? I couldn't get out of the boat. I was sort of jammed in, and I was on the side of the ship, by the ship. The only thing I could do was stay in and go down with the boat. It seemed as though I went way, way down. I was, felt as though I was being drugged down by suction, but I finally worked my way up, and when I came up, I hit my head on, seemed like wood. I thought it was the bottom of the boat, or the boat. Went down again, and next time I came up, I hit my head again. So I began struggling because I was out of breath and thought, well, I'm just gone. But the next time I came, I finally just all of a sudden plop, I came up and saw stars, and they were the real thing that time. Then, how did, what did you do after that? Well, after I jumped overboard, I came up rather quickly. I was more fortunate than you, and I saw the end of the ship just going down. And I'd heard someone say once to try to get as far away from a sinking ship as you can to keep from being dragged down by suction. So I started swimming, and I managed to get away from it just as it went down when someone near me yelled, here's a raft, and I reached out and grabbed it. And people gradually started grabbing onto the raft until we must have had about 12 on it, including one patient that we pulled up out of the water. And we were just bobbing about on the waves. It must have been pretty bad where you were. What happened to you then? I came up and someone, an officer from the ship yelled, Ruth, how are you? And I said, fine. He said, grab onto a board. So I grabbed onto a board. I saw someone had a little light near me, and I screamed, wait for me. I want to get near you. So it was a, it was a radio officer from the ship who stuck a, said, swim near me. So I began swimming, and he stuck a uh, plank out in the water, and I grabbed hold of that. So all together, there were two officers, plus myself, and two patients on the... Uh, plank. So we, we swam around in the ice cold water for approximately an hour and when uh, the British hospital ship, the Minster, finally picked us up. Well, this is not your first experience. No, I uh, had an experience. But this is not the first time you've been sunk. No, I had a similar experience on a British hospital ship, the Newfoundland. Uh, off Salerno in September. 
Miss Brett, do you think you'd like to go back on another hospital ship again? I don't mind going back, but I don't care to go swimming again. <laughs>